The next destination, up to you. Newsflash. Good evening, Madame Herta fans. This is an urgent broadcast. The great Madame Herta, member 83 of the Genius Society, has been targeted in an attack at the space station. Her current whereabouts are unknown, with no group having stepped forward to claim responsibility. Many heritors are upset at the ineptitude of upper management, having issued strong protest and condemnation. Mr. Skrullum, this was a premeditated attack. Conclusion. Their target was the space station, but their strategies are still unknown to us. I... That's right. Which is precisely why we need him. The last to lay eyes on Herta's puppet before the attack was him. Hmm. You are. Uh, <clears throat> this is Dr. Ratio of the Intelligentsia Guild, a delegate from the IPC. He's only just woken up. Dazed. He may need a few pointers. Ah, we cross paths again. Do you remember me? <laughs> of course. Why would you? Memory is such a fickle thing, after all. Mr. Trailblazer. You must have many questions. Please be patient. Asta will explain it all to you. You probably know the gist of things already. A few system hours ago, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. She's away on a visit. This issue didn't seem to trouble her much. She received an invitation from the IPC before the attack occurred. Ah, the technology department. Charming little place, isn't it? Madame Yabuli does possess some semblance of competence, but her subordinates? Ugh. 
Oh, they're a riot. Brimming with enthusiasm, yet utterly devoid of intellect. It's as if evolution halted prematurely for them. They want to start some new collaborations with Herta, and have graciously extended an invite for me to play the role of science consultant. It's delightfully amusing. I can't wait to witness firsthand how these geniuses from the so-called Super Smart Club squander the IPC's vast resources. However, this attack was timed a little too well. I can't help but wonder if someone leaked this information and the attackers seize the opportunity. Herta's aloof response to these juvenile provocations? Hmm. Almost as intriguing. What a delightful little puzzle. I've long heard that you're one of the best researchers in the guild, Dr. Ratio. We are honored to have your assistance. Save your flattery. Time is hardly a luxury we can squander. To debate the merits of mere mortals in the company of an actual genius? Quite the paradox, if you ask me. Uh, excuse me, you. Um, tell me, what were you doing the last time you saw that puppet? Uh, don't play the fool. Think. I think I was. Oh, right. I need your help with something else. That curio's gone missing, and I can't just forget about it. Go find it for me when you have the time. I'm sure you can manage that, can't you? Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if he wants someone to help you. My memory is kind of hazy. What did I do after that? I think... Herta mentioned Asta. That's right, I... I think I visited Asta. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. This is what I recall before I met Herda, but I can't remember some of the details. Let me try to remember the conversation with Asta. Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Mm-hmm, sure. Can I help you with something? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale. Best left under the table. But, if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. 
These two aren't making any sense. This is so weird. This is what I recall before I met Herda, but I can't remember some of the details. Let me try to remember the conversation with Asta. Hmm, a curio that's alive but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. Maybe the researchers at the Departments of Ecology or Insight may have an idea? Hinkle and are around here somewhere. I'd suggest you ask them about it. Asta seems to have mentioned two names. Two researchers from the Departments of Ecology and Insight. Hmm, a curio that's alive but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. Maybe the researchers at the Departments of Ecology or Insight may have an idea? Hinkle and are around here somewhere. I'd suggest you ask them about it. I, I saw it. I saw that person disappear. They vanished right before my eyes. Just like that. Step. It was so quick. N no traces left. And not even bones. What? What do we do? It sounds like he's telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Just let the professionals deal with it. Did you finish your work? I'm gonna tell you something. Make sure you don't tell anyone else. Of course. My lips are sealed. Not a word to anyone. The multiple disappearances? They're all for real. Seriously? Shh! Why are you being so loud? Do you want to disappear too? It's been so long, and there's still no response. There's something fishy going on. How come they haven't recovered anything? I don't believe it. They're hiding something. Those managers are useless. I say, what a... Wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. All right, all right, all right. Just cut the pleasantries and tell me how it's going. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess, I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. I have faith in your abilities. So, how about my offer? Why not come with me after this is done? See this material here? <laughs> People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Sure thing. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled. I'll be bringing you something big soon. Uh, it's happening again. The words in my memory are all jumbled up. Those despicable villains are distorting the truth online. Ugh. If 
I discover who's behind this, they're gonna wish they'd never crossed me. A curio that's alive but doesn't have a body? Isn't that just a jinx? Oh, nowadays people call them wubbaboos? Well, I might be the Department of Ecology head, but I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to curios. Adler would be of more help, but he's been investigating some paranormal phenomenon. I haven't seen him all day. I must say, it's a little embarrassing for the space station to be in such disarray while guests are visiting. We've been through a huge crisis and are still recovering. But there are some who are trying to exploit the chaos to agitate the workforce. People are growing more and more distrustful of the management here. It's probably turned into a big headache for Asta, too. <sighs> Never mind, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's something that we researchers need to resolve ourselves. Pretend I didn't say anything. Adler, Adler. Right. Then I ran into Arlen. Adler was with him. And was that? Well, I might be the Department of Ecology head, but I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to curios. People are growing more and more distrustful of the management here. It's probably turned into a big headache for Asta, too. <sighs> Never mind, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's something that we researchers need to resolve ourselves. Pretend I didn't say anything. I say. All right, all right, all right. No need to be, though. I, I have. See that I'm not getting. Sure thing. Uh, it's happening again. Adler was with Arlen. They were involved in some sort of incident. What? He went to the scene alone with Peppy? How could you let him? Uh, calm down, Brother Arlen. I, I know you're upset. What? We're walking the dog. We're, we're having a walk. <sighs> like I said, we're walking the dog. So I'm the dog? They seem to be hiding something. <clears throat> Is there something you need? Oh really? What a coincidence. We're looking for him too. That kid sure is brave, running straight to the scene on his own. Uh, uh, no, no danger. Of course he's not in danger. <sighs> Brother Arlen, I, I can't keep this up anymore. <sighs> Can you leave the talking to me next time? <sighs> Let's walk and talk. Why are you looking for Adler? A lost curio. I see. He'll be able to help.
Careful. The fragmentum in this area is very unstable. The moon shines on the truth. Stand down. A blood your end approaches. Make good the loss. A blade of moonlight. Perfect. Now. <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. No, not this road. I didn't go there. Over there! As I thought, he's in trouble. Nothing of the weight behind this path. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Stand down and I'll... Target specimens! <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Flaming light, roaring flood. A blade of moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Let me. I will dispatch you by my sword. Excuse me, coming through. You can still calm your body and mind. <laughs> Time for something savory. Timely treatment. I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Peppy, are you okay? That's me. What's up? He wants to ask you something about Curios. I'll leave you to it. Adler, Peppy's in your hands now. Oh, about that investigation I asked for. Don't worry. I think I figured something out. Catch you later. I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Just as I thought. I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot. Which curio do you want to know about? That's all you got? Too abstract. 
Well, there's beauty in the abstract, I guess. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Huh? What did I say? Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Adler seems to have gotten a lead, but... What was the information I forgot? And from whom? Let's go over it from the start. I may have overlooked something. Right. Asta mentioned another name. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Huh. She's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Huh? What did I say? My memories of Arlen and Adler are hazy. I need to remember the other person Asta mentioned. Hmm, a curio that's alive but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. going. Did you find the information you're after? I see. Is that what Hinkle and think? At least that counts as a lead. See? My researchers are pretty outstanding. Just business as usual. Nothing to worry about. After the Legion's invasion, the space station has been under constant scrutiny. Physical damage can be easily repaired, but it takes a long time to heal the wounds in people's hearts. Some researchers have been questioning the management and security of the space station ever since the invasion. Things had settled down a bit with the reconstruction efforts, but the researchers' disappearances have rattled them again. Yes. Four researchers have inexplicably disappeared in a matter of days. No exit logs, no traces. Vanished. People were just starting to regain their footing after the catastrophe. I didn't want panic to spread, so I suppressed the reports and told the security department to investigate in secret. However, as you can see, it's hard to keep secrets in a sardine can like this. Rebuilding trust is harder than establishing it in the first place. I'm concerned someone's pulling strings to sway public opinion. Anyway, the most important thing is to get to the bottom of the disappearances. Th that's okay, but thank you for the offer. Uh, aren't you helping Madame Hertha with something already? Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. So I did consult someone else other than Hinkle. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. 
The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing you mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. So I did consult someone other than Hinkle. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Identifying that person is crucial. It could be the key to making sense of everything. Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Mm-hmm, sure. Can I help you with something? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale, best left under the table. But if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Here too. My memories are just a jumbled mess of words. Did my memory piece together irrelevant information? Now I remember. The other person is Emily. She was at the base zone. What did Emily say? I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Oh, another smart-looking youngster. <laughs> Wonderful. It's about time we had some new recruits. Huh. Asta told you to find me? A curio that doesn't have a body but is alive. Isn't the Department of Ecology full of curio experts? That's got nothing to do with the Department of Insight. However, I've heard of such a species. A colleague who came back from a business trip said that the Sienjo Alliance has life forms like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I was merely relaying information. I didn't mean I'd help you. <sighs> the atmosphere on the space station has been getting stranger lately. It's risky taking sides. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned it seems to be what inspired Adler. The disappearances Asta mentioned are likely related to Arlen's investigations, too. 
Now I should be able to tie everything together. I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I no need to though. Uh -huh. See that I'm not uh, again. I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess, I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned it seems to be what inspired Adler. I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Just as I thought. I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Well, how did you know? I see. Could you also tell that Lady Asta was feeling the pressure? I'll be honest with you. It's been tough. The surveillance didn't capture anything regarding the researcher's disappearance. There's only one clue. Adler observed that the automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances occurred. That means that every victim's disappearance was accompanied by some inexplicable fire. When we made visits to the scenes, some of the witness testimonies seemed to agree with this. The words they used were spontaneous combustion of the human body. I'm sorry. This situation is unique. I hope you can keep this a secret for me. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? Ah, uh, she's not wrong, but that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Huh? What did I say? She's not wrong, but that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Ah, that's right! They're called Heliobi! I guess you could say that Wubaboos and Heliobi are sort of like cousins. Both are types of energy life form. Huh, 
Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis, but it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Spontaneous combustion of the human body. That's most likely the truth. Let me remember my initial conversation with Herda, just in case. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. I need to go over it from the start. Starting with the conversation I had with Herda. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an energy life form. It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. That's not the point. I wouldn't be bothering with it if it didn't have something to do with the Genius Society. Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. I commend your stamina for recounting that interminable tale. You must be exhausted. My ears certainly are. So, to sum it up, the last time you laid eyes on Herta was in her office. She sent you on a wild goose chase for some trinket, the curio, after which you knew nothing else until Lady Asta contacted you. If that's the narrative you're sticking to, then indulge me. Who, pray tell, can substantiate this captivating drama? Affirmation. We can ask Herta herself. Well, if you lace up those boots and start sprinting now, you might just catch the IPC shuttle in four system hours. But as it stands, not a single soul can corroborate his story. Mr. Ratio, your style of questioning would seem to have a preconceived bias. Apologies, it's an unfortunate habit of mine. When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. 
It is also the most efficient method, judging from my experience. Seeking answers with a negative hypothesis in mind is still valid research. It can still help us reach the truth. If he is truly innocent, he can clear his name with answers. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. and the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. Herta's collection, an endless trove of trinkets and baubles, and yet she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm, it's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. I doubt Herta is interested in the curio itself. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. I remember now. Back then. Back then. That's enough pretending. Please be quiet. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. And yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm. It's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. Sure. But you're the one saying the curio in question is ordinary. Say what you want to say. A correct observation, if I may add. Herta's collection, an endless trove of trinkets and baubles, and yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm, it's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. The curio isn't the point. Herta was only addressing it because of its relation to the Genius Society. I would imagine the curio is the creation of a genius. Affirmation, it holds some special meaning to Herta. Yes, that seems logically sound. Then you said you asked Asta for help with the lost curio. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? Conjecture. Asta chose to stay silent. Then you said you asked Asta for help with the lost curio. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? Asta isn't trying to hide anything. It's because of her position. Some things shouldn't be said in the open. What could be more important than her to safety? I agreed for Mr. Ratio to become involved in this. I should consider him one of us. It's okay. You can tell him. So what's the story? 
Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? The space station has been very distrustful of its higher management, ever since the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Another severe incident would further intensify suspicion, and cause great internal strife. Oh. So that explains why Lady Aster approved of my participation. After all, the Intelligentsia Guild's representative wouldn't be linked to the space station, but would still share the IPC's position. They wouldn't be partial to anyone, but would still act for the space station's benefit. Two birds with one stone. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. Correction, there may be a correlation. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. Yes. I ran into Arlen when looking for Adler. Adler? A level two researcher. According to the Department of Ecology head, he knows more about curios than anyone else. He happened to be helping Arlen investigate the disappearances. Well, did he enlighten you? Adler seemed to have an idea at the time, but he never contacted me again. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the response- Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. No connection? I disagree. There should be evidence linking them together. If I review a certain record... Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. No. If I recall correctly, Asta said, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. Don't know the location. Isn't that the same as missing? She did say that, but then what? You need to provide evidence to show incidents are linked. There should be evidence. Arlen discovered something odd when he was investigating the disappearances. The space station's automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances happened. Arlen mentioned that each victim disappeared due to spontaneous combustion. Huh. But there are no signs of a fire anywhere in the space station. That's what's so odd about it. But this information has an additional layer of importance. This may not be direct evidence, but if the system also recorded the fire suppression system activating when the puppet was attacked, then there's ample evidence to indicate that these two cases are linked. If these two incidents were caused by the same person, then the suspicion put on you would decrease, provided that this fire suppression record does exist in the system. We'll see in the main control room. Let's go. Uh, huh? What was that? Parader News Flash, this is an urgent broadcast. I repeat, this is an urgent broadcast. News has finally emerged regarding the attack on Madame Herta. The Annihilation Gang has claimed responsibility for the incident and warned of further activity. The Guild has expressed utmost condemnation. <laughs> the gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. They give no thought to the masses. 
Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. Yet always there are cowards trying in vain to reject their favor and escape the wounds. Flee then. Flee as far as you can. No matter the distance, annihilation will find. A declaration of war, and an announcement of what's to come. They have set their sights on you. The Legion's impact remains, and the Annihilation Gang is already paying a visit. It almost seems like this space station is more suited for the path of destruction than erudition. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora, a world long since destroyed. His race, the ever burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. A group of pitiful lunatics. I like Dr. Primitive's assessment of them. The value Nanook sees in the Annihilation Gang is perhaps far less than one might see in a child who deliberately broke a vase. The Fire Demons have a cruel temper and instinctively ignite and destroy items. Ifrit is particularly evil and cruel, even among his kin. The Everflame mansion he heads is even the archenemy of the Japella Brotherhood, despite both groups belonging to the Annihilation Gang. Chapella Brotherhood? I've heard that name somewhere. On the Stellaron Hunters Wanted posters, they stand accused of inciting the Chapella Rebellion, the uprising that caused the downfall of the Brotherhood. The Chapella Palace crumbled in the scorching flames, and Ifrit's power has grown by the day ever since. Would you believe it would be merely a coincidence? Something similar is about to happen here. Spontaneous combustion? For him, it's as routine as me finding fault in everything. The disappearance of researchers and the puppet were all part of the plan. And after that, that video will soon circulate. And this station's fate? Flames. Nothing but flames. The destruction of trust. I'm afraid more than trust will be destroyed here. You need to start acting now if you want to survive. You, come with me. You have a superior strategy? Pray tell. Do we set the two of them loose, turning whispered fears into full-blown pandemonium? If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora, a world long since destroyed. His race, the ever-burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. <laughs> 